Hey everybody! Welcome to another video where I do whatever I want and today I want to continue my bucket list series. A few months ago I decided I, I wanted my parents to write their bucket list and then I wanted to cross stuff off with them. I've done one episode so far with my mom, she wanted to use a chainsaw, it was awesome. And today I wanted to do something for my dad's bucket list which was the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library. I have no idea why he was on his bucket list, don't know what his fascination with it was, but he wanted to go and it's his bucket list, man. So we went. Ready, let's begin. All right, you're here. Where's Ronald? There's, there he is. Look on a little too much bronzer. <laughs> I got jokes. Our first stop, the hologram thing. You gotta have a hologram of the president. And Colleen's here. She's already peed once. I peed once, I already peed again, and I also desperately need water. You know what? I have water in here, and I'm like, hello, my one's bring out. Give me free water. I don't even know what you sounded like. It wasn't Miranda. I feel like it was a little boy from a movie. It was like a parent, like kid. Yeah, a prong. that blends the different cultures and traditions of those who have- That sounds like the president now. There's a dog. You know, I've been in and out of this place for years, and I have never seen it look as beautiful as this. All right, Dad. How was that? It was weird. It was weird. You wanted to come here, which was even weirder. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have brought Colleen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dad. Lead the way. I heard in an interview a guy who wrote a book about it. I forgot the name of the author, but he came from like really humble beginnings. He was like super poor. And, Ronald Reagan. Yeah, and had a rough childhood. And everything, then he became president. Yeah, but he much like our president today, Donald Trump. <laughs> what do you like about him? He's very eloquent. Okay. And could speak and say what he wanted to say, unlike some presidents. <laughs> like our current president today, Donald Trump. Scandal. Right, Ronnie. I love you, Ronnie. Ronnie is frisky. He started off as a broadcaster? A sports broadcaster. Oh, the White Sox. That's your area. See, I remember when our beloved, wonderful president was elected. <clears throat> Sorry, I threw up a little bit. <laughs> I remember going like, how, how can we have someone who is in like, yeah. you know, the television and all these things as our president? Like, and then Eric was like, well, we kind of had that with Mark Reagan where yeah. he was. Did you see Back to the Future? Was he in Back to the Future? No, but when Doc Brown asked McFly, he said, "Who's our president?" He came for the future. And he said, "Ronald Reagan." He goes, "The actor." Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, is this my tour? <laughs> no, it's JoJo's. This <laughs> JoJo's US Dream Tour. So I'll see she's going to and it's sold out. So, so sucker. This looks cool and old. What is it? I don't know. It just looks cool and old. <laughs> Centuries of wisdom. It quotes? Yeah, there's quotes. That's cool though. Why do you write in cursive? Rude. I can't even read it. I what, have a question. What? I can write backwards, like a mirror image. You can? Really easily, like the same as forwards. Like if Are you dyslexic? Any, is that what that means? Dyslexic like, people see uh, the letters in 3D, so, so they're shapes and they can switch them around. I, I write find normal, but if you said write this so I can read it in a mirror, I could write an entire letter to you back. Well, dyslexia does run in the family. You might have a, a small, small, small case of it. I'm, I'm not hating. I'm dead cool if I was a dyslexic. It's like a superpower. I'm down. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, is that what that means? I'm like asking. Oh, right I don't. Oh, yeah. Comment down below. Or Twitter. We're not going to read the comments. Yeah. yeah. The hologram. <laughs> hey, don't hate on the hologram! <laughs> I thought we were gonna be able to go up and shake his hand with hologram. Okay, that's a robot. You're describing a robot. <laughs> Colleen's camera. <laughs> uh, is this video or are we posing? Dad, it's both. It's both. <laughs> My fellow there. We're not alone. Oh, I do not believe in fact. Oh, this goes too fast. How does he read this? So with all the creative energy at our command, let us begin an era of national oh, renewal. Let us... I told you, this is for the speeches. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we didn't even see you there. I did. <laughs> I was waiting for her to tell me I was right. <laughs> Thank you. Speech. Speech. <laughs> 
said I was gonna try to like do back and forth. Oh, you're not Obama. I do not believe in a faith that will fail in us no matter what we do. I do believe in a faith that will fail in us if we do not fail. Good words. <laughs> yes. Oh, his clothes. His own handwriting. Bigger crowd. He bet Trump's inauguration had a bigger crowd. Trump said it did. No, gotta believe him. Otherwise, it's fake news. This is where he almost got he assessed the assault assassination attempt. Yes. Yes, he didn't kill him. The thing that amazed me when they did the assassination attempt, all of a sudden the Secret Service guys pull out these huge guns. Yeah, there was like a freaking rifle. Those guns in their suits. How did he miss? He was like a. Oh, he shot him. Oh, he shot him. Oh, he just didn't kill him. Oh. He killed other people. Yeah, and he hit Brady in the head, and he's had permanent brain damage. But, uh, no, he shot him. He shot him, and, he almost him died. and it went into his lung and almost hit his heart, and he didn't think he was hit. He was in the limousine. Oh really? He's just like, oh, he just thought he got pushed in there and got, you know, bruised rib, and then he realized I got hit, so they took him to the hospital. Wow. I have to say, Secret Service was on that very quickly. You know why he shot him? No, why? He was in love with Jodie Foster, an actress. Yeah. John Hinckley Jr. was in love with Jodie Foster, and he was just crazy, and he was like, I'm gonna prove that I love you, Jody, because she was like an activist. Like well, she was also in Taxi Driver, in which Robert De Niro right. tried to assassinate a politician to impress the character who was played, played by Jody Foster. So, so he was obsessed with this movie and that she was in, and in that movie that happened. So, so he, he was like, I'll do it. So then he, that's why he, he wrote her a letter saying, I'm gonna kill the president for you. I'm doing this because I love you. He wrote her and lots of letters. Well, yeah, but there's <laughs> one like really famous one. And Stephen Sondheim, my favorite musical theater composer, wrote a musical called Assassins, and my favorite song from that musical, he sings, so just saying. Okay, I'm glad I brought Colleen. She knows a lot about history. Oh. This is the suit he was wearing? Yeah. <gasps> they cut it off of him, but... Whoa, this is the suit he was wearing when Eric... Oh, there was a bullet discovered lodged in his lung! Ah! Oh, it's a reenactment. Get out of here, reenactment. An x-ray, that's pretty cool the way they have that. Where's the bullet? The white. <gasps> the little worm. President who enjoys Christmas? Right up my alley. No, who's his vice president? George Bush Sr. Really? The New York Jets, unfortunate. I'm ready to go to a presidential dinner. It's his diary. But oh, it's his diary? Topic or date. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Ooh, so realistic. I love things. Oh, you saw the sports. I saw dresses. That has never happened before. She had a program shredding. Oh, she was the one that started. Oh, I don't like her. <laughs> that is weird. His wife is the one that made everyone fear marijuana. Is it Celtics? Larry Bird signed it. This is by the Celtics? Okay, this is funny. They're lifting her up to do a slam dunk. That's pretty funny. These are her dresses. Fashionista. The Secret Service. This is what I'm interested in. Yes. This is a gorgeous room. Pregnant. Yeah. Well, Grandpa stepped in, so he stopped. <laughs> oh, this is my years. You've got mail. So, what are these trees decorated as? They're each era, they just put stuff from the different eras. Oh, so this is my era. Your cell phones. Yes. This is what I grew up with. Yes. Colleen's. Oh, you have MTV. You have Nintendo and Rubik's cubes. What does this have to do with Reagan? It oh. They just decorated trees from different eras. Oh, okay. 2010 and beyond. Just white. Question mark. <laughs> it's a white question mark. That says a lot about our current situations. <laughs> yeah. My dad laughed. He liked that one. This is cool. This is his plane? Or replica? It is. This one he used when he was... 
First class. You've been here in real life. Still have some of yeah. the wall there. Yeah, it's really um, somber and sad. Like when you see it in person, you're just like, all right, Pompeii, Pompeii. So right now the Reagan Library has a Pompeii exhibit. Did Christopher just went to this town, right? No. Oh, yeah. Town? It's a city. It's a city. It's, it's a like, huge, huge, huge. It's like Los Angeles. Yeah. It's yeah. Massive. Yes. So they went um, here, this, to the actual place on their Europe adventure. I don't know. Four, one suitcase, four kids. There's some money in a bank. The theater masks? Theater masks. See? Worn by actors. Why couldn't actors just show their face? Because. Come on, theater queen. Secure. Truth. Because they probably had men playing the women. Oh, that's right. That makes sense. Because we all know women can't act. <laughs> We're also not funny. A bomb? <gasps> dad, don't look. Reagan's wife would not approve of this. Just say no, Dad. You say no. I do. Do you? This is how they found the people when they dug up the city. So basically, actually, if I can be Christopher. It says, do not touch. <laughs> so what happened was the ash covered the people, and then the people eventually disintegrated and disappeared because flesh goes away and all that goes away. So then it was left with like a shell inside, like a mold essentially. Yeah. So one guy figured out how to fill it up with like plaster and then you take away the ash. Casing. And then you have this. So this is how people were laying when the volcanic ash came out. Oh, so that's how they found them. Yes. Trying to run away. My dad is, uh, I mean, you gotta get jelly beans, dad. Why do you have to get jelly beans? Because Ronald Reagan always had jelly beans in the Oval Office. That Ronald looks Reagan's like cigarettes, signature. Dad. Dad, just, just say dad. no. This is a piece of the Berlin Wall, which we did the Cold War about. Yeah, it separated East and West Germany. The Eastern side was the communist side. The Western side of Berlin was... Not the communist yeah. side? I got gotcha. you. the Berlin Wall? I haven't. Well, it's crazy. Well, I have now. No. I touched it. What's crazy is, first of all, it was one of the saddest places I've ever been. It was just quiet and somber and sad. But also, it, the city is still divided. Like, so if you're on one side of the wall, in my experience, don't come for me, but when I was there, I noticed one side of the wall was like, seemed... Like the bad side of town. Yes. And one side seemed like more artsy and, and... Beautiful. Yeah, I don't want to say beautiful, but like, it's very divided. Like, Got it. Two very clear different sides. Well, that's because the eastern side was really run down uh -huh. and probably haven't put a lot of money into upgrading. And that's where we stayed. <laughs> really? <laughs> so we were like, this is Berlin. <laughs> and then we went to the other side and we were like, whoa, this is Berlin. Are you excited? It is a patriotic Christmas. Do you want to all the snow, Dad? Let's build a snowman. A snowman? And our wind. It's bubbles. Oh, they're bubbles. What are you upset about? No cactus on the Reagan Ranch, Santa Barbara. How dare they put a cacti! Is cacti the singular or the plural? You don't know. <laughs> Do you know? Cactopus. <laughs> yeah, it's cactopus. It's that's, cactopus. What, that's what it is. video. <laughs> It did stop snowing, Dad. It was a blizzard. Okay, Dad, how'd you like the library and the light show? All awesome. Perfect. Plus Are you? We got to go to the Green Burrito. We did. Yeah. We went to the Green yeah, Burrito. Yeah, we went to the Green Burrito, Dad's favorite restaurant. For those of you who don't know, Green Burrito is the 
attachment to Carl's Jr., which is the grossest fast food establishment in America. Except for the crisscross fries. Although... It's Chris Cut. All right, Dad. I hope this was bucket with list worthy. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Very I love you. Cool. Thanks for letting me join in on the bucket. Yes. You got to come up with a bucket list. I can cross that off my bucket list. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. My dad had a lot of fun. I know this was just a vlog of going through a museum because that's what we did. I had a lot of fun. I love hanging out with my dad and my sister. I'm so glad she was able to join us. She vlogged it as well, so you can go over to her vlog channel. It should be out today. Let me know if you like these series things. I just, my parents are awesome and I wanna do things for them and with them and things that they wanna do because they do a lot of stuff we wanna do. It's time to give back. Subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you like. It. Let's do a shout out. The person who retweeted my uh, hot glue gun hacks part two with JoJo is Brooklyn. Thank you so much, Brooklyn. I love you guys so much. And remember, above all else, stay awesome, possums. <laughs>